Hello, uh, everybody. Uh, also in this uh, COVID time, uh, the importance of fungal infections is uh, quite uh, high. In fact, uh, this is due not only to the co-infections with uh, COVID uh, sustained by fungi, but also for the presence of uh, an increasing uh, group at risk of patients which can uh, develop this type of infections. And the, the other problem relating to fungal infection is the high mortality, more than 40%. So we need an organic approach, a complete approach to this problem, including new diagnostic tools, including new treatments, including new global approach to, the, to this disease. I'm a clinical microbiologist, so my focus uh, and the focus of my attention uh, is on fungal diagnostics and the importance to improve these uh, tools to uh, manage fungal infections. Uh, in the last years, there are a lot of uh, uh, advances in this field. In particular, the possible use to bio, of biomarkers, of fungal biomarkers, uh, either antigens or molecular tools that uh, uh, speed up a lot the possibility to diagnose uh, a fungal infection. On the other hand, another important topic arising in the last years is the possibility to use human biomarkers to guide the diagnosis and then the treatment from fungal infections. All these aspects are very important for the clinical microbiologist and of course for the infectious disease uh, physician and will be treated at the next ECMID in 2022 and uh, in a specific uh, uh, symposia which will stress the possibility to have a uh, complete uh, approach to this problem. So I think that uh, fungal infection is still an important threat for uh, the human uh, health and uh, I think that uh, all these approaches have to be, uh, to be improved and uh, have to be implemented in the clinical use.